who once watched their children play with concern for their safety, now watch them with a design for their future. Sports is the glamour business of the 80s. There are unheard of sums of money to be made and uncharted glories to be earned. International television audiences are too big and can guarantee instant fame for a teenager. Olympic gold is more than a medal. It means contracts for selling everything from cereals to sneakers to deodorants. But fees that can soar to millions of dollars. Potential athletes are now being groomed by parents from the earliest years of their childhood. Some, like Todd Marinovich, are groomed from infancy. Todd's goal, set by his father, is to become a professional football star. Now 16, he seems well on his way to achieving that goal. The goal, stardom and dollars. Pro football players like Dan Fouts make $750,000 a year. San Francisco's Joe Montana earns $1 million a year. Sports celebrities can earn more money than the combined salaries of the presidents of the United States, General Motors, and IBM. To achieve that kind of success, a child must give up the carefree joys of youth. And in a world where winning is the only thing, few are prepared for failure. I've concentrated so much on my goals and making it to the pros. I haven't thought much or I haven't had myself think about what I'm going to do if I don't make it. I haven't given any thought to what I'd be if I weren't a speed skater. It's taken up so much of my life that I haven't had time to think about anything else. If you want to be a hard worker, train, not fool around, skate five, six hours every day, only have one day off of the week, not have many breaks, sometimes not live with your family, if you want to make all those commitments, then maybe if you have the talent, you could go into that sport. <laughs> In this house in Northfield, Illinois, lives a family in quest of Olympic gold. All right. Susan Mills, the mother of six children, is the driving force behind the family's ambitions. Or for stuffed animals, right? Along with her husband, Chris, a lawyer with Chicago and Northwestern Railroad, she has already motivated her four oldest children to become promising world-class athletes. Nathaniel, age 15, and Hillary, 14, are national champion speed skaters. They train year-round with professional coaches in the Chicago area. But what they do and how they do it never escapes the scrutiny of their ever-present mother. 